stripe, yellow paint. I hear they're scared of it, but them pros ain't. Soon as I hit the club, look at the moon face. Hit the pedal once, make the floor shake. Sway inside, my engine roaring. It's the big boy, you know what I paid for it. And I got the pedal to the metal. Got you out here checking game, I'm balling out on every level. Hear them haters talk, but there's nothing you could tell them. Just made a million, got another million on my schedule. No love for them, boy, I'm breaking hearts. No keys, push to start. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. Since I review different scales on my channel, today I thought I'd be bringing you guys another Kinsmart review. In the early days of my channel, I was doing several of these, and since I know that there are Kinsmart collectors out there, why not make another one? In one of my previous videos, I introduced you to the fourth generation 2008 Dodge Viper SRT10 made by Jada in 124 scale. And today I bring you its successor, the 5th generation 2013 SRT Viper GTS. And this is a 136 scale model made by Kinsmart. The name of this car is complicated. You see, the first piece of information that I'm going to give you is that Dodge is owned by Chrysler. And when this fifth generation Viper was launched in 2013, Chrysler dropped the Dodge name and decided to call it the SRT Viper based on Chrysler's high performance SRT division, which is a short form for street and racing technology. Kind of like how BMW has its M division and Mercedes the AMG division. So in 2013 we had the SRT Viper and then there was a premium version called the SRT Viper GTS, which is this car. The way you can tell an SRT Viper apart from a GTS is that the SRT Viper has six hood vents, while the GTS only has two. But returning to the name, the guys at Chrysler decided to start calling this car as the Dodge Viper again, 2015 onward. And so this SRT Viper GTS is also known as the Dodge Viper VX. Now that you know a little bit about the history of this car, let's talk about its significance and legacy. And this makes me heavy-hearted and sad in the sense that just like with the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, here we have another icon that has gone extinct. That's right. The Dodge Viper, the American supercar a lot of us grew up with, had a run of 25 years, starting with the first generation back in 1992, and went through four more generations, ending in this fifth one, which seized production in 2017, due to a combination of low sales and unable to fulfill the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Regulation 226, which required it to have side airbags that prevent passengers from being ejected out of the door windows in a crash. A technical term called ejection mitigation. Anyway, you might be asking yourself why I did not buy this car in 118 scale or even 124 scale because Maisto makes them in both, and they're not so expensive, and the reason is color. Color is very important to me when it comes to model cars, and I absolutely love the SRT Viper GTS in this yellow, which Maisto did make in 124 with killer wheels, but that model is very hard to get. And I got this Kinsmart model from a Lithuanian eBay seller for less than 5 euros. My dream is to own this beautiful black and white 2016 Dodge Viper ACR made by GT Spirit in 118 scale, but its price tag is currently 120 euros, and for a sealed resin model where nothing opens, that's just too expensive for me. 
I mean, I got this diecast model for five. And it has opening parts. So let's take a closer look at what it has to offer. What I like about Kinsmark models is that, despite being so inexpensive, they still put a lot of detail into them, especially on these smaller scales. One detail that can quickly look off are the headlights, but Kinsmart never disappoints in this aspect. These headlights are shaded properly. The black contrasts the yellow very nicely. You got the silver bulbs, the redesigned Viper logo, which looks different to the previous ones, is also rendered pretty well. And this NACA duct here leads to an air intake that I have painted black. So this is not painted black on the car that you buy, but I think it looks better this way. However, these hood vents here were already painted black. And they also have a little grill texture going on, which is nice. But generally speaking, just the way this hood is shaped I and mean, with all these curves and lines is what makes it quite interesting, despite only being a Kinsmart model. Unfortunately, you cannot open the hood on this Kinsmart model. However, since we are on the hood right now, I might as well give you a few stats on the engine. And the stats of this car have been improved a little bit over the previous generation. Although the engine has remained the same 8.4 liter V10, which is a respectable displacement value, it now does up to 645 horsepower, 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds, and a top speed of 335 kilometers per hour. I actually think that with the 5th generation Dodge Viper, or SRT Viper GTS, the front end is really the prettiest of all the Vipers so far. I mean, the 4th gen Viper was quite aggressive looking, but this 5th gen just turns that aggression to more beauty, I guess. And these headlights, they really do remind me a little bit of the headlights of the Koenigsegg Agera, which becomes more evident on the far more detailed 118 scale GT Spirit model. But even here, I, can, I kind of feel like this car is beautiful. And that is usually a term that you do not use to describe wipers. I mean, you always use the term aggressive. But this one combines both. And here's a look at the car's side. And again, you can see these sweeping lines from the front to the back, ending at this lip spoiler that is kind of built into the rear end of the car. The exhausts of this car are built into the side, right here. And these silver wheels also look pretty alright, although they could have, of course, used far more impressive ones. But you have to keep in mind that the weakest point of Kinsmart cars are their wheels. And of course, they don't have any brake discs or brake calipers either. However, there is some attention to detail in the form of this turn signal right here up front, and over here at the back as well. You'll also notice the faint but visible GTS badging on the fender. This is also the area where we'll reach the second modification that I did to this vehicle, which is to create the illusion of it having these vents over here. The Kinsmart model does not come with these black vents, instead it's just yellow car body, but I did paint them black, and so they give you the impression that it has these nice air intakes. For me, the favorite part on this 136 scale diecast model by Kinsmart is the back of this SRT Viper GTS. For the simple reason that the taillights look great in the way they are shaped, and of course, as the intro music indicated, you have this classic black and yellow mix, and um, I think the colors contrast each other very nicely. Kinsmart also made sure to print a new Viper logo in a fairly accurate amount of detail here. Below you have the SRT license plate. Now these vents were already painted black when I bought the model, so this is not me uh, painting this myself. And of course the rear diffuser at the very bottom is also in the black color. As all previous Viper generations, the fifth generation SRT Viper is also a fastback which means that the rear hatch would open up like this, like upward. But of course on this Kinsmart model you cannot do that. However, we do have a gas cap right here, and 
The detail level on this is actually quite good for a Kinsmart. But now let me show you the rest of the enhancements that I did to this little model, and for that we have to move to the interior. So here we are at the passenger side, and what you can see is that I have actually painted these vents, or the, the rims of the vents, in silver, as well as the center uh, blades, I guess. And they just add a lot more realism to the interior compared to their unpainted form, which is how you would get it if you would buy this car from eBay or someplace else. But again, with just a few touches, you can turn this all-black interior into a slightly more detailed and better-looking interior. And the cool thing about the Kinsmart models is that even though they, they never paint their interiors, they still provide the sort of detail level that makes it look like it was modeled after the real car that you buy. So this is not like a randomly generated, you know, like a basic toy car interior. No, they actually try to make this look like the interior of the SRT Viper GTS. You can see that we have the stick shift in the middle. You can see we have the e-brake. And we even have a little TV screen in there in the middle, although it's of course not painted. Got a few buttons as well. And I also like this pattern here at the front on the dash you get a few uh, details on the windshield wipers as well. And let's also check out the driver's side. So you can see we have the steering wheel here, and I did paint the bottom two spokes of the steering wheel silver. You can also see that I painted the top part off the center stick shift silver, because that whole thing was black. And in terms of seat details, I also painted these uh, neck areas of the seats in silver. And these are supposed to be Recaro seats. I think it's a good idea to paint them red, but I didn't find the time to do so. At least they do have, like, an okay amount of detail. But what I also did is down here, you can see that I painted the floor pedals in silver. And the floor pedals already have this sort of um, perforated texture. So just highlighting them silver sort of makes them stand out a little bit. And that's pretty much all the sort of detail and enhancements you can add to the interior of a Kinsmart. Making it look a little better than what they give you, but of course it's not something that you can compare with some of the higher scales. And then again, you do not buy Kinsmarts for the interior, you buy them for the exterior. And the exterior, I have to say, for a model that costs five or six dollars, is done very well. Another fun little feature about Kinsmart cars is that they come with a pullback mechanism. And here's a look at the bottom of the car. It says 2013 SRT Viper GTS by Chrysler Group, used under license. Scale 136, Kinsmart. Not much to see though, otherwise. But these cars are pretty easy to take apart. You can see that we have a screw over here, and we have two more screws here, so that way I was able to paint the interior and then put a car back together very quickly. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this review of the 136 scale SRT Viper GTS by Kinsmart. I'm going to do bigger scale reviews again in my future videos, but I thought it'd be interesting to finish the Viper cycle by showing you the 5th gen Viper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.